So when it comes to Roman numerals in minor keys, this is where it gets minorly complicated. Yeah, that was a pretty bad pun. Sorry. Let's pretend that I never said that. Anyways, uh, let's take a look at Roman numerals when it comes to a minor key. We're going to use E minor uh, just because, you know, usually in these examples, the E minor almost never gets used. It's usually C minor or A minor. Plus, I like that it sits really nicely in the staff for the most part. So we're going to use the key of E minor to take a look. And so if you compare this to a major key with Roman numerals, you'll notice it's it's more or less the opposite in a lot of the cases of what it normally would be. So uh, the, the one chord uh, in major is uppercase, and that was obviously lowercase. The two chord is still lowercase, but now it's a diminished triad rather than a minor triad. It was a minor uh, chord in major, now it's a major chord in minor, the uppercase three chord, uh, lowercase four chord, so it's a minor chord. So here's the weird thing, five is still a major chord, and we'll get into that in a second, but you'll notice right here, I've added a sharp, and we'll, we'll talk about that in a second, but just keep in mind, if you remember to your uh, the two variants of the minor scale, so there's your regular minor scale, also known as the natural minor, minor scale, and you have the harmonic minor scale, the harmonic minor variant of the minor scale. This is where it sort of comes into play, and we'll get into that in a second. And then here is a uh, uppercase six chord, whereas before it was lowercase, so now this time it's in major. And then here is, again, here is seven diminished, um, and we, we get that weird D sharp in there again. And so look, we'll, we'll talk about that in just a second. But this is what you'll typically find in a minor key. Uh, these are your most common chords, especially if you're dealing with, uh, with um, a lot of the music uh, that you'll see in Mozart, Beethoven, Haydn, uh, the like. Uh, this, these are what you'll normally find. Um, so what do we do about these guys right here? So this five chord and seven chord are sort of strange. Like if, if we were to take away these, okay, we we'll make that natural again. Put this into the regular. Uh, we'll put this into the regular um, E minor scale where there's just the F sharp. This actually won't be a diminished seven. It would actually be uh, an uppercase seven. It would be a major seven. Okay, this is a major triad, and this would be a minor five. Okay, the only problem with that is that this, you know, you don't typically see this. You very rarely see this kind of happen, and it's in it's in in cases that we're not even going to talk about. But uh, you want to have this five function is so important. Uh, it's the dominant of the key, and just like in in a major key, it's it's incredibly important in in its minor counterpart in the parallel minor. So if you remember, if this is a harmonic minor scale, let's make this back into a seven. We want these two functioning chords right here. Um, and we plug this into a harmonic minor scale. Remember, harmonic minor, you raise scale degree seven. So here's scale degree seven. You raise that up by half step to create the leading tone. Okay, so we want that leading tone created and that uh, added, and so that creates this seven diminished triad, which is functionally very important. Um, and even though you know we don't typically we don't do anything to the fifth scale degree, but the fifth scale degree has that D in there. We want to make that sharp also. We want that leading tone in that chord to make this function properly. So we're going to have that D sharp. I'm going to put it here just so that you can see it. You want to have that leading tone within this chord so that it functions properly within that key. There are always exceptions, which we, we won't talk about right now, but uh, it's, it's very important to note that this is what's going to happen. And this is the 85% rule. This is what you're going to see. You're going to see this happen 85%, uh, if not far more often than that. Okay. So um, it's I can't stress this enough, the D sharp, or at least scale degree seven is raised, creating this seven diminished triad, and scale degree seven is raised, and you'll find scale degree seven is within this triad here, so we'll raise it there. Now, you'll notice we don't do that with the three. This is, we're not gonna touch this. This three is kind of a weird chord anyways. Um, 
and it, a lot of that has to do with modulation later on and, and a variety of other things. So don't worry about that. It doesn't happen here. Just know that it's happening here in the five and the seven diminished uh, uh, triad right here. So uh, minor one, two diminished, three, a four. Uh, uh, the four chord is a minor four. And then we have this, the five chord again is a, f is a, a major triad so that we, we can get that dominant function, a very important function. We have a, uh, uh, the six chord is a major triad and the seven diminished triad right here is gonna be a diminished triad again um, within this key, even though, even though we have to add it. That's, that's how, we, how we create that. Okay, so hopefully some of that made a little bit of sense. Um, again, it, it'll take some time to practice this and you'll, you'll kind of see it happen most of the time, but this, these are the most common Roman numerals that you'll find within uh, a minor key.